The hard part about homelessness is that in, in some cases there is not transportation. So this money is strictly to pay rent, utilities, deposits, even a little bit of moving costs if we needed to take them from one location to another. Um, it is where it works on credit repair because that's usually a problem in this case because they've already they're in rental property so the grant the stimulus money is a grant so it's exactly like other grants we get it's all designated money so will it, any of it stay with us and enhance our organization no we're being compensated a percentage of what it takes us in salary to work it but that's that's it so the money we're made we're basically it's like one of our board members said he said it's taken me a while to get this but I do now basically we're just a pass-through middleman people give us money it passes right through us and we qualify the, the families and that's exactly correct that's what we, we call do. it flow through right um, so with this money we are able to uh, again you know we can we also have to go by the guidelines meaning that the guidelines are there has to be a certain level of income at or below and there has to be a certain amount of rent realistic rent and they've made that determination what I'm going to send you will show you that so it goes into two bedrooms how much is reasonable rent so you know seventeen hundred two thousand dollars rent is not reasonable we can't help you now we may be able to move you downsize you but the deal here is they're going to need to work with us the whole way through. They're going to need to do, we're going to have things that they're going to need to do, and they're going to need to keep going. So um, when we were in one of the meetings, I used an example is the best way I can do it is just to tell you that when we begin this process, and um, we're going to be working with them just like this. And the goal of this stimulus money is to begin to pull away. I'm using it, Megan, my example. <laughs> pull away. <laughs> All the, just keep pulling and then we're gone and they're self-sufficient so based on what I've seen we've been working on this since May going to Austin and going to training everything you've heard about the government is not necessarily true they are outstanding to work with I'm not talking about our necessarily the politician people <laughs> but these people in the in in the housing department we're working with want to help people and so they're working with us because basically what we were able to show when we made the request was that number one, we already had the program in place. The government didn't come in and say, okay, Barbara, here's what you have to require and here's how you had to do it. We already had all that in place and they're letting us do what we were already doing. But they're funding it. Now there's more reports, obviously, to do this. And if we do it correctly, we have two years. Um, if we do it correctly, then we're up for more funding. And the government was, when we, when we applied for this, and we went in and talked to, when I say government, I talked to Austin, to this department, they were, they were completely blown away that we had never come before because we were already paying 600000 over 600000 out for the clients. And then we got that through our events, through our stores, through just talking to churches, all. And so they saw this. The community storehouse was the only agency in Tarrant County that was awarded this money. Out of 28 agencies that applied, we rank, no, we rank number four. So that's a pretty big deal for us, of course. Um, and so um, we're pleased that we're going to be able to help more people. Now, with this program, this grant clearly says, and only for this grant does it, and it says, individuals with or without children. With or without? With or without children. <clears throat> so, in the criteria of just this grant, we are interviewing people, families with or without children. Individuals and families is how it reads, with or without children. So, and we might find a situation where, in the past, if the storehouse could help financially, we could usually only help for about a month. Well, studies show a month doesn't do anything. So in a, a short term, um, a, the short term assistance on, on a family like this is three months. The long term is longer. And um, 
so we may go and help somebody three months. We may go and help them six months. We may go and help them two months till we pull out and stabilize out. It just depends, but we have the ability as long as they work the program. They have to meet with us. They have to, they have to be willing to roll up their sleeves and better themselves. And if they are, it's a phenomenal program. If, if it's a single parent, it's a phenomenal program. Because, and we, had a, we have a situation where we have a lady who has got six children and never, the finances were there, never had to work, and he leaves, he walks out, and now, so she loses her house, moves into an apartment, and she's blown away by this program because she's already in school part time, works for FedEx, and is trying to increase her hours, and doesn't have the money. Well, this program, and I told her, I said, I want you to be a, one of our success stories because this program is phenomenal for this woman. She can be a success story. So that's what that money is about. Questions? Now, in terms of the program, you said if they work with us, uh, we can, so on. And does the program finance the staff time that it's going to take <laughs> to work with them? A small percentage of it. The thing is, though, Bob, we were already doing the program. Uh, if, if you know, and what we can't do and what this organization cannot afford to do is go out and apply for money that we don't have that program in place. So then we have to, we have to hustle to get it in place. Right now I'm looking for funding, and we're, we're okay. concentrating on funding to support what we're already doing. Okay. Did you have a question? Uh, are you finding that with the... Unemployment rate the way it is that the jobs are still out there for these people to go out and get the jobs that they need to have to stay in the program. To, I mean, yes, I'm and it may not be there. the jobs that they want. Right. Okay. But when you have zero income, it's okay if you need to go to a food establishment to get something. And if you go to the food establishment, then we're working with you. And in this, for those that uh, are unemployed. We are actually, they have to go apply for jobs, and we, we already had this in place, too. And then we're following up. And don't, don't bring me a computer sheet, because that's not going to do it for me. I can sit at a computer all day long and tell you I filled out applications. But we're actually going to be double-checking and going and contacting and saying, did they come in spot-checking, just to see. So that's what I mean. If they're going to work the program and they truly want to get up, they can do it through this program. It's a pretty phenomenal program. And again, you know, while they're doing that, we will be able, if they're qualified, to pay their rent, to pay their utilities, to get to keep them on this program. So it's kind, of, it's a deal, and it always has been. The storehouse has always been this way. Um, that if we're going to help you, then you're going to have to help yourself. If you're here for just for us to put a band-aid or you know maintain you then you're going to need to go to state services because that's not what we're going to do so um and there is talk out in, the, out in the communities about this funding when we got the funding the government put it out so we started getting hit by the media and there were spins put on it and all this good stuff you know and i go to city council meetings and i go to meetings with leaders of cities and they're going, oh, Barbara, y'all are rich now. You don't need any more money. No. <laughs> it's a grant. So. so, in effect, <clears throat> it's not the addition of a new program at all. It's simply an increase in the kitty that you have had to scramble to get in times past to do this. Right. So we all, feel, I'm sorry. All with helping the child. Well, and this is this keeping case, the child in out of a van sleeping in a residential area. Right. In, in this case, some single one too, but helping the family. Right. Mm -hmm. The goal is to, to prevent homelessness. Mm 